Hey Playmakers, in this video we're going to be looking at Easy Save 2 in Array Maker. Now assuming you've already installed Array Maker and Easy Save 2, we're going to be looking at Assets, Easy Save 2, and Enable or Update Playmaker Actions. This will install the Actions into your Actions tab. So I'm going to create an empty game object and this is going to be our Easy Save Manager. And I'm going to add an FSM. And now with this FSM, we're going to be using ArrayList Save. Now it's telling me that we don't have an ArrayList proxy in this game object. So I can click to add. And with the reference, I'm going to name it easy save test so reference here I'm gonna put an easy save test and now let's look at easy save the the uh, the fields that we have here we have save file and unique tag so for unique tag it's the same thing as a reference it's gonna always look for this unique tag that you put in whatever action that you create so for this usually you want to name it as the same variable that you've created but we're gonna be calling it for testing purposes test and the save file usually you want to leave this in default but this will be any save file document that your easy save is gonna be looking for so I'm gonna leave it as default And now we need to save something. So I'm gonna set this as a float three and I'm gonna randomly choose three numbers, six, four, seven. So it's gonna save this information. If I hit play, then it will save it into this save file. Now we wanna make sure that it works. So I'm gonna create a new state. This is load array. And I'm gonna put in the load array. The reference is easy save test and the unique tag was test and the save file was default so if we go to finished and it worked it loaded up the array list but now some of you may not believe that it works so let's test it out I like to test things out as well so let's remove everything let's remove that remove range and we are going to set the reference as easy save test and it's gonna remove the three that I added and so when we press play it worked it removed it and loaded it but we still need more proof so we're gonna use a breakpoint we haven't talked about breakpoints before but a breakpoint let's see will let you pause the game for testing purposes so we hit play and we see that after this state was complete it moved to the state and we hit pause and everything is gone if we hit unpause we'll see that it loaded the array and it worked and that's pretty much array let's do another test though let's do easy save unique tag test 2 and let's identify these as one two and three so what we're stating here is that it's going to save one two and three in this reference into a new tag and now let's create a new array and call this easy save test two and let's go to this one copy this action 
pace this action. We're going crazy now. And for this reference two, and let's see, did we change? Yep, unique tag is test two. Now we didn't change the reference in this one because we have a new reference here. So let's add a breakpoint. Finished. And now what it should do is change this information, remove this completely, one, two, three, and we're going to be loading it in this array list, easy save test two, and we're also going to be loading the original three numbers that we had into easy save test blank. So we removed the range from the original and we're empty on both. Let's unpause. And ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Six, four, seven, one, two, three, an easy save test and easy save two. And that is easy save. So easy to get started. We also have upload and download with ArrayList Easy Upload and ArrayList Easy Download, but we unfortunately don't have a PHP file to test this with. We can also use hash in, a, in a Easy Save. And it's, it's basically the same thing. If you check out my hash table tutorial, you'll see how to work with hash tables. It has unique keys that you can use, but it's basically the same thing as arrays when it comes to the tags and save files. But that's pretty much easy save. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it in the forums page or on this YouTube video itself. And if you have any projects that you have created and want to share it, please let me see your amazing creations. Thank you very much.